hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today we will be doing a long set of duck nails i actually made these nail tips using a long tapered square tip i cut it and then i added the top of another nail tip and yeah that's how they came out i almost forgot to record this video so bear with me it was a lot going on in this video the temperature in my room was horrible so the beads were drying fast but i mean i did my thing i remember like i always tell you girls work at your own pace do not follow the hype do what works for you all right enjoy the rest of the video i will be popping in here and there whenever i have to yeah all right bye Like I said before, I do make my own glitter acrylic powders. I do not buy them. I buy my clear powder in bulk. And I just buy glitter. I have so much glitter. I just mix. I mix sequins, glitter, all that. The reason why I do not buy glitter powder is because it's always more glitter than it is acrylic powder. So it's a little harder to work with. The ones that I make, I do add a little bit more clear acrylic powder, so they're more durable, easier to work with, rather than you just working with loose glitter on top of the nail with monomer. It just doesn't make sense to me. So I buy my own, I mean, sorry, I make my own, buy my own glitters, buy my clear in bulk, and I just mix. You can do it too, girl.
one thing about this client, I know to make her nails thick before she even asks me, okay? Did y'all see that girl on Instagram? I follow this girl and she has a client named Thicker Girl. Yeah, this is my own personal Thicker Girl. I mean, it's not as thick as Thicker Girl, but girl, she loves her nails thick. She be in these streets tussling and doing the most. So yeah, we're getting her right. Now, if your client's nails ever get a little too warm, just spray them with alcohol. Do not let them get hot and do not ignore the warmness. I mean, it happens sometimes. It does not happen all the time. But if it does happen, just simply spray them with alcohol and you're good to go.
All right, on to my favorite part, the shaping. So I just wanted to tap in and let you guys know how I shape long nails. You have to be very careful when shaping long nails because you can hurt your client. So just make sure you're holding the top of the nail bed with your thumb and you have two to three fingers underneath the nail just to make sure you're holding it and the nail is not being pushed down. Once the nail is pushed down, your client is going to feel pressure. So just make sure you're holding the nail very, very... Just hold the nail, girl. Just hold the nail. Two to three fingers under the nail, thumb on top of the nail bed. I also want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed and everybody who has been supporting my videos. I truly appreciate it. I'm back on my YouTube journey and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All right, bye.